I want to talk about Clayton Oliver because they lost and his performance may have gone under the radar a have little bit. Have you seen bit. a better game than this? Oh, it was amazing. Uh, record contested possessions for him. And what I think he is doing, he's taking a leaf out of Lockie Neal's book last year. Neal made a conscious decision to kick the ball more than handballing. He's now a kick-first player. If Clayton Oliver can be a kick-first player and do this, last year he kicked three goals for the year. He's got 31 career goals before tonight. He kicks three. And there's no doubt about it that he's made a shift to kicking the ball more, going forward, using his height and his strength. And him and Petrarca could be one of the great duos in the midfield. You know, we, we, we can compare them to, you know, Black and, and Voss at times. I think they can be that good. Kerr and Judd, I, I think they are in the conversation to be that good if they keep going wow. like this. You speak about how damaging he's become. It does pose a question again about Hawthorne and Tom Mitchell. So he, he's one of the most fascinating characters in the game right now. He's had... Uh, a massive weekend. I think he... What did he have? 40, 44 on the 44 weekend. 44 yep. on the weekend. He's in the 17th ranked team. He's 27 years of age. Uh, he's not damaging teams clearly on those numbers like Bonds and Pelly and Oliver is. The game's changing on him. And Hawthorne are going to regenerate their next mm. run at it. And there will be demand for him around the competition if there was a sniff that he was available. Yeah. He's a Brownlow medalist who would probably be entitled to ask for Brownlow medal-style money. Not sure he's going to get the Brownlow medal-style money at Hawthorne in the next deal. What, is it, is it possible that clubs will woo this guy, Matthew? Well, we're watching his stats at the moment, and it's, yeah, as I said, it's probably at least a lot of handball, and it's, uh, this is a good handball, this one, because it gives the, to, to a player out in space. But uh, I just think that, uh, yeah, there's a, you just wonder what Tom wants. Does Tom want to be mm. uh, at a side that could potentially win a premiership? Probably left Sydney thinking, OK, Hawthorne, I'm on a chance to win a premiership here, and now it's going to be a long, hard road back. So it could be a win-win and for both. But I'd love to see him watch Clayton Oliver and say, how can I actually, I know I'm a Brownlow medalist, but how can I evolve to take my game to the next level? And I, it is kicking the ball more and kicking a few more It takes some goals. time, obviously, coming off the yeah. injuries that he's had. But y you wonder, is he the sort of player you build a next um, run at it around versus just being a complimentary piece of it? Uh, he's better than a complimentary piece, oh, I mean, I, but, but, a he, but he's piece. not a Bontempelli, yep. uh, Petrarca, build your side of Yeah, it. I think if you could put him into a midfield like Carlton, I mean, to yeah. support Cripps and Walsh, I think that would be ideal. And what would you give for him, Kane, just on that? Yeah, if you were it's like it's a Carlton looking yeah, for an extra mid. Look, if there's a market for Brad Crouch, Tom Mitchell's a better player than Brad yep. Crouch. So there's a market there for him. It's a first-round draft pick where it sits, I don't know. You win a Brownlow at 25, you're an elite player, you're yep. having 45 in touches, you're entitled to put your hand up for, the, for a big check. Yeah, and considering um, Hutchie's never actually been on Never been paid the way he well. should be paid. That's right. Um, in turn, is that the best use of Hawthorne's check? Well, mm -hmm. they need picks, right? Yeah, the question. I mean, if the right pick's going to come along, I, I think it's a conversation worth having.